Hey guys, Void Raven 5829 here, and on this episode, I'm going to go over um, why I believe orcs as an army struggle against um, more competitive armies, and just in general in 7th edition. So, my main points for this, um, and like my, my, my main beef with uh, the orc codex as it is, um, are leadership, weapon selection, our lack of special rules, and our general fragility, along with some odds and ends. So with leadership, um, orcs have basically universal leadership seven. Um, our our sergeant equivalent knobs have leadership seven. Our elites have leadership seven. Everybody in our army has a, has leadership seven, except for war bosses and big max. I believe big max have eight. War bosses have nine. That's our only augmentation to leadership. And as a horde army, um, a lot of other people will recognize that in Tyranids, uh, certain demon builds, certain guard builds, uh, all horde armies have the th have the consistency of being able to modify or ignore leadership checks because of how devastating they can be in a horde army. Tyranids have the hive mind, um, where they're just fearless, straight up. If you're within range of um, a certain model or two, guard have commissars. They have um, all their advisors that already buff their leadership. Um, they have sergeants that alter, uh, alter their leadership that come stock. Excuse me, um, with a buff to the to their normal leadership. Um, they have banners, um, and they just have. They also have orders um, to get around that too. And demons are basically fearless until you get to close combat. Um, and so all those th th those three different armies have their own ways of dealing with leadership checks. Orcs don't. And orcs are a, are a close combat horde army. Which, like Tyranids and demons. But, um, we're also very squishy. We don't have very high... Um, durability in, mo in anything, really. The best armor our uh, Warlord can get without becoming a Terminator is a 4+. Um, like, and of course, you know, like, Guard only get a 4-plus save on their company command squad and commissars and stuff like that. But at least, they have ways of, you know, getting around leadership um, that affect the their Warlord's unit as a whole. War bosses only have the WA special rule. And that doesn't even affect leadership. Um, and their leadership nine. Um, but orcs, um, because of our general squishiness and how many boys we tend to run um, in our in, in any unit, really, uh, we don't really have small MSU units because of how poor our leadership and durability are. Like Ludas, for example. Everybody knows about Ludas. They're... Uh, People take them in blobs of 10, uh, 10 to 15, and just plop them in cover. Well, the thing about Ludas is if they, they're still Leadership 7 and they have a 6 plus t-shirt save. If they lose three dudes in one shooting phase, they fail a Leadership check, and they run off the board because they're that close to the edge. And you just lost your points. And that's so frustrating as an Orc player. Um, the only way we have to mitigate it, we don't have banners, we don't have advisors, we don't have anything. We have the mob rule. And the mob rule sucks. <laughs> um, for those who don't know, mob rule, um, in the current edition of 40k, or of, of the orc codex, mob rule is whenever an orc unit, um, or at least a unit with the mob rule, rule fails a leadership or pinning check, they roll a die on a table. On a one, if they're in combat, they're fine. If they're outside of combat, they're running. Makes sense. It's called born to fight. That's just, that's fluffy. On a two or three, it's called breaking heads. And if, a, if there's a character present in the squad, the unit takes D6 strength four automatic hits. And that's, that's frustrating. Uh, oh, and if you don't have a leader, if you don't have a leader, you just fail. Um, but that's frustrating um, because normally our, on the charge, our knobs only have, uh, what is it, four attacks? Yeah, only have four attacks. Um, 
and they don't automatically hit every time. If anything, it should just it should be D3 because it's it's in theory only one model hitting the rest of the squad in order to make them shape up. Uh, that's just me. <laughs> Um, and then the results of four through six on the mob rule table is called breaking or none, not breaking heads, uh, squabble. Um, and that is the entire unit just starts, just stops whatever they're doing and starts fighting each other. And that causes D6 automatic, uh, D6, um, strength four automatic hits, which is still up there with really stupid because orcs are only strength three, um, normally and yeah they're supposed to be strength four like according to the FAQ they're supposed to be strength four because they're really fired up but uh, practically the orc isn't going to get enough inertia to get the plus one strength with furious charge and whatever reasons you want to go with it's just plain dumb to um, kill your own models for the sake of your leadership as a horde army that is so critical to a horde army think about it like Tyranids don't hurt each other don't hurt themselves unless they're outside of 12 inches which is a pretty big radius and they have ways of expanding that with relics and warlord traits um it uh, I'm sorry it's just so frustrating um being on the receiving end of a truck exploding with boys like for those of you who haven't seen it I have uh, uh, there are multiple stories out there of a truck full of boys that gets exploded, right? The boys, being Leadership 7, fail the pinning check from the explosion, and they roll a D6 to kill themselves. Since truck boys only usually ever have a 6 plus t-shirt save, because why would you bother spending 40 points on the 4 plus if you're already buying a truck for them? Um, that means you're going to basically lose that many dudes. And then at the end of your shooting phase, uh, and then you have to worry about the explosion itself. And then at the end of the shooting phase, is the lo is the uh, casualties check. That's also another leadership check. So then you have your knob hitting more dudes. I I can't tell you how many times I've seen uh, entire mobs be reduced to a single knob with one wound remaining because of one exploding truck. And that is just not fair. It's not fair for orcs to, you know, defeat ourselves with our own special rules that are supposed to make us better at what we do. And the Wa Gaz supplement makes it even worse by adding a plus two to it. So then you're even more discouraged to not bring trucks or vehicles of any kind because you need to have 10 plus models. <sighs> anyway, um,. So that's leadership, and it really, really hurts us, because if we're in close combat with a regular squad of boys, and we lose combat by one because they have a, uh, uh, because they just managed to beat us, then we're automatically leadership six, and it's gonna be so hard to beat that. It it's just so infuriating. All right. <sighs> Point two, war gear selection. Our melee options are the Big Choppa, which is plus two strength, AP five for five points, or the Power Claw, which is times two strength, AP two for 25 points. There's no in between, and there's nothing to give AP four. And it just doesn't really, it, it's another uh, Debbie Downer about it, about playing orcs is that if you want to have any any shot of being um, good against Marines in combat, you take a load of boys and a knob with a power claw. That's standard loadout. Because you have the weight of attacks with your boys, and whatever they don't kill, your knob mops up with his claw. Now, I'm not bashing power claws. I have survived and won many games because of the lowly knob with, a, with one wound left and the power claw. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's a great feeling when you just have a knob randomly kill a, a, an entire command squad because he was angry enough. Um, but on the flip side, like nobody ever bothers to take the big choppa, except for maybe tank busters, but that's only because they have tank buster special rule or the tank hunter special rule. Nobody takes big choppas on anybody because there's no point to it 
other than giving a, a plus two strength. If not, if p big choppers were um, just plus one strength and AP four, even if they were just ten, even if they were ten points at that, I would consider that a lot more because I encounter things with with uh, four plus armor more than I do five plus or worse. I mean, that's effective against other orcs, that's effective against Carapace Armor Guard, um, that's effective against quite a few monstrous creatures, um, as well as um, some Eldar and um, other stuff. It's, AP4 is a huge boon, and we don't have access to it, even though the bulk of our armor is a 4 plus save when we actually bother to pay for it. <laughs> um... And the power claw itself, I I wish that unwieldy like this is just me wish listing. I wish that un that unwieldy only reduced your initiative by one or two instead of dropping it flat down to one, um, because that would I think that would be a little more fluffy than just straight up your initiative one. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, and then for shooting uh, for ranged weapons, um, I don't know if anybody knows this, but orcs suck at shooting and our choices for combi weapons and our knobs are either the combi scorcha which 10 points for a heavy flamer one shot is pretty darn awesome um but five points for a combi rocket is just why would i bother to spend five points on a combi rocket that's gonna miss and just waste those points um I, I, like we can take a twin link shooter for three points again with ballista skill two twin link doesn't do jack for us um, as orcs because we have ballista skill two I mean it's kind of pointless um, the scorches are great um, but I do wish that we could take uh, burners or burners back in regular uh, boy squads because that would also be a huge boon. Anyway, um, so in general, our war gear is very limited and very niche, actually, um, for what it, for the options it can give you, um, because it is so limited. It's either ubiquitous, like the like the claw, or it's just completely pointless, like the combi rocket, the um, combi shooter, or the twin link shooter. Um, or even the custom, a one-shot strength A plasma gun. It gets hot. My orc has about, has like half the chance, uh, excuse me, twice the chance of shooting it, of actually hitting, than he does of killing himself. Again, with a four plus maximum save. Unless you're in mega armor, but why would you give a mega knob? Yeah, anyway. <sighs> All right, sorry, I'm getting a little frustrated just thinking about all this. Don't get me wrong, I I love playing my orcs. I love being orcs. Um, there's just so much fun to bring on the table because your opponent has fun with you uh, because of the sheer ludicrous nature of them. It's just frustrating to be a, a so low on the totem pole. Um with one of the most flavorful armies of the in the game. All right. Uh, next up is the lack of special rules. Uh, I'm pretty like so we, universally we have here we go which lets us reroll one of the charge dice which is pretty awesome. Um, and it also affects uh, get, gets affected by the wa special rule that war bosses have. That's like our only little bit of synergy we have by the way between uh, special rules. Um, it Otherwise, it just doesn't do much of anything. If we have a bunch of shooter boys that, or tank busters or lootas, here we go isn't going to help them at all because they just want to sit back and shoot. Um, but orcs also have the mob rule, which I've already gone over in our leadership section. Um, to, re to review, it's crap um, for a, a horde army. And... The third special rule all orcs have, except for Graz, is Furious Charge. Now, like, in 5th edition, and I think before, Furious Charge gave you a plus one 
boost to your initiative when you charge. That was fantastic for orcs. Initiative 3 orcs, initiative 4 knobs could actually make a huge difference um, when it comes to charging marines or charging just guardsmen in general. Now, with orcs, uh, if you have a unit of boys charging a unit of guardsmen, the guardsmen are going to stab us first. We're going to lose, like, uh, a quarter of our forces just on that alone because we decided to charge them. That's not including Overwatch. Uh, that's not including their sergeant getting a piece of our knob. You know, it's just infuriating that orcs, the greatest green menace of the, of the galaxy, runs forward and then stops and lets you hit them first. What gives? <laughs> oh my god. Um, so I propose that mob rule, or not mob rule, but here we go, gives you a plus one initiative on the chart. That way it's unique for orcs because you have that wave of bodies going forward and shoving them closer to your enemy um, as, you're, as you're charging. I think it kind of makes sense. It's just the press of bodies coming in to be faster. Um, or they're all painted red. <laughs> but, you know, I think that that would be really cool to have back is the plus one. Or just make it a plus one um, initiative across the board for orcs. Because we're... How can we... How can the, the, great, the great green menace strike as slow as the reawakening death robots of Necrons? It's not fair. <laughs> um... Alright, and then I think the last thing I pointed out, sorry, I'm just doing this off the top of my head, is just general odds and ends. Oh, no, no, it's our, it's our random dur- uh, excuse me, our pretty crappy durability. Um, so as I've said before, all orcs basically come, basically come stock with a 6 plus save. Even our elites. Um, and what's even worse is that our elites don't even have the option of buying it, except for knobs, but nobody buys knobs. Um, and having, like, spending the points, like, for Burnas. Nobody brings Burnas anymore because they only have a 6-plus save, they have a short range, and they're a one-trick pony that as soon as you get the, the truck or battle wagon of the, um, that they're filled with over to the, to the target, you, sh you annihilate one unit, and then the truck goes bye-bye, and you hit yourself to death. I really wish that, um, at, like our, our our odd boys could get four plus armor, because it would make them worth taking. It would make our elite section worth taking. Um, because, you know, otherwise it's just kind of, why would I buy a sixteen point orc when I can, uh, when he doesn't have any additional durability, you know. Um. <laughs> all right um but and uh, then our vehicles too they're all open topped which is already a handicap um and if they're not open topped then they lose the assault ramp or then then you can't charge out of them and that completely defeats the purpose for orcs um they're also super paper thin and we either have the 30 point 10 10 10 truck or the 100 and 25, 115 point battle wagon of 14, 12, 10. And uh, one side of 14 is great, but I don't think it's worth 130 points plus upgrades. Um, even if it is bringing 20 boys. Because it's only on one side, it's open topped, and it doesn't go very fast at all. It's supposed to be the orc equivalent of a land raider. But it's not. <laughs> um, so just or are in. So all of this comes together. Like everything here that I've said comes together, um, and really deters away from playing orcs because as a horde army, you want to be mild. Like you want to be um, durable enough to get up to the board. Get up to the board. Um, for your first couple of turns without turning back from from leadership checks you want to be um, Fast enough that you can get up there without um, without you know spending too many points on it Which you can get with with trucks, but it's not durable um, And you want to be able to hit hard enough 
in combat so you don't lose leadership checks. But at the same time, you don't want to completely overwhelm because then you just get shot again and you lose leadership checks again. So it all compounds into if I move too fast with my unarmored boys, they're going to get out in the open, get shot, hit each other, and die. Without my opponent just, like, with my opponent just glancing my truck to death with bolters. And, again, I'm saying it's not fair. <laughs> um, an, another, and then, like, in odds and ends of reasons why orcs are really hard to, to win with, um, is that, like, there are so many, you know, like, disappointments in our units. Um, like, not bikers still cost 45 points base to be, um, to have one knob on a bike without, um, any weapons upgrades, power claw, what have you. 45 points for toughness 5, 4 plus, 2 wound save. Or model. I mean, eh. I can see maybe, like, 25 to 30, but not 45. Because that means a power claw is 70 points. And I think you can get an Iron Priest on a Thunderwolf for like a few points more or around the same price and look at what he can do. I mean. <laughs> um, and then there's the whole Gorka uh, Morkanot, which they just really should be super heavies. Um, because they're so slow, they can't keep up with the army. It's just. And, like, they're not assault vehicles, which, you know, it, it's just a... They're just a big disappointment overall. And, like, you can spend an extra $10 and buy a Stompa. Like, a fully legit Stompa. <laughs> um, I'm not... Alright. I guess I'll be done there. <laughs> um, so, in review, uh, orcs struggle against a higher tier codexes because of leadership, our lack of... Um, weapon choices, um, the fact that our special rules don't really synergize well with each other, um, if at all, and um, that our general durability is just not that great for what we pay for it. Um, so to all you orc players out there who are you know trying to get a, to, who really want to play orcs, keep playing them. Don't let me deter you. I'm just letting you know, like this video is to let you know about our general weaknesses and why it will seem like you're really struggling when you play against like space marines or necrons. It's because of those factors like that we just can't perform that well and why we need to bring like why orc tournament lists are generally basically the same throughout. It's nothing to do with you as an as a player. It's strictly because our codex works against itself and it's just not fair outside of our own codex all right um so again i i don't want to sound like i'm harping on orcs i don't want to sound like i'm uh complaining too much um i'm just throwing this out there that you know orcs don't have it easy <laughs> There's no, there's no uh, win button for us, and it takes a very skilled orc player to win. And I'm proud to be an orc player that does. And I'm, and I am very grateful for um, Daka Daka and um, a couple of YouTubers that, whose names escape me right now um, for their codec for their orc codex reviews um, because they they really helped um, outline a lot of benefits that orcs have. All right, so I've rambled on long enough. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, this is Button Void Raven 5829, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you. Bye.